John Fedger here with mobilehomeinvesting.net. I'm coming at you from a local uh, Clayton mobile home dealership. I wanted to show you today uh, mobile home siding, what the most common types of mobile home siding are, both new and used, uh, that you're gonna see as a mobile home owner, as a mobile home investor. Um, so let's talk about what these two <laughs> homes are right around me. Uh, they're both wood siding. Uh, it's T111 siding, or, uh, but it's a, it's a wood, uh, it's made to look like wood, and it is wood. It's a plywood pressed together. Uh, it does rot. It does swell under water. It is water resistant, and it lasts surprisingly long. You'll find mobile homes from the 80s, uh, from even the late 70s with this kind of material, from the 90s, and obviously brand new as well, uh, and it holds up pretty good. You'll eventually start to see some bowing because just the weight of the entire wall starts to cause this part down here usually to bow outwards. This is brand new, so obviously... It's not warped at all. It looks beautiful. You can uh, cut this with a saw. You can. Uh, you want to hang it with nails as well. About thirty-five dollars a sheet, uh, eight foot in height, and then four foot. Uh, they interlock together. Here's an area where there's two uh, that are interlocked. You can see a nail right there, and then a nail again, another nail. Uh, so these, this, this, this is made really, really well. Underneath all of these sidings is going to be a uh, weather barrier uh, that we talk about in this video. Uh, now, you compare the wood siding over here to something like vinyl siding. And in my opinion, vinyl siding is the winner. For at least for mobile home investors and for people uh, on a budget that like a good look, that want options in colors, uh, some variety of textures, uh, did I say affordable? And it still looks good. This has been used from the 80s, from the 90s, from the 2000s and beyond, and it still looks good. In the extreme cold and extreme heat, uh, this material can become brittle, uh, can warp as well. And you're looking at these interlocking pieces here. There's actually a few. This, uh, this one that one these two move as a unit these two so you'll buy a whole panel here's where one starts right here you can see that and then we'll go all this way the same panel right here these two pieces here's the very end so 12 foot long uh, and about 8 to 10 feet high that's gonna run you about 8 to 10 dollars uh, worth of material you can't usually just buy one you have to buy uh, like hundred square feet at a time or 200 square feet at a time a hundred square feet depending on the material uh, the vinyl siding you use where you get it from you do have to pressure wash it every now and then but hundred square feet should run you about hundred and twenty dollars uh, and that's not installed. Again, underneath there, this, there should be a waterproof uh, plastic barrier. This is a good example of underneath the mobile home. Hope you can see that. This might be a better angle right here. But those tires are full. They're clean. Now, when this is set in its new location, the tires should not be touching the ground. They should either be removed uh, or removed, ideally. <laughs> and then again, this is on piers. This is just in the dealership. So it's not set up, uh, it's not tied down. This is a good example of the cross beams of a mobile home. Just these big long eye pillars going the entire length of the mobile home. Here's a mobile home tongue right at the front of the property. Depending on the dealer, you can see right here, here's a good example uh, of the VIN number. That's pressed right into the side uh, of the steel plate. So this will be covered up by skirting of some kind at, at, at some point. But if the homeowner owner ever needs to get to that serial number, they can go ahead and uh, put that there. Now there'll be one serial number for that half. You can tell that this is a double wide because that's the half that is going to be joined to another section and that will have its own serial number. Wood siding, wood siding, vinyl siding, wood siding, wood siding, wood siding, more wood siding, two-toned wood siding, vinyl siding, vinyl siding, with some stone skirting. We'll go take a look at that. Two-tone siding. This home is a really good example of a two-tone mobile home, and it looks like all the same material. Right down here, you have a faux wood type of material that looks like the same material as above. You can see we've been looking at that T111 pressed plywood for the exterior of the mobile home. And then right down here, you have the red color. It looks beautiful, by the way. This home is made to look more like a similar single-family home uh, with the pop-outs, or not pop-outs, but those uh, pillars right there. 
and then you have these shutters that don't go anywhere they're just faux shutters but let's let's go ahead and look at right here this is fiber cement fiber cement comes in these planks right here and they overlap over each other you can see right here it's been cut uh, and nailed and they come in 12 foot sections that run the entire length each one of these beams right here that you see is going to run depending on the uh, depending on where you get it from the material it's going to be anywhere from eight dollars a sheet all the way up to sixty dollars just for and i say sheet i really mean just one of these planks right here uh, that goes 12 feet and is anywhere from eight to ten inches uh, depending on the material the color the texture but that's a really nice looking home let's back up this is a big monster uh, of a mobile home brand new let's look over here these steps are not up to code uh, there's no railings there's no anything but this is fiberglass right here uh, and it should not be very heavy to move it is is that fiberglass it's like fiberglass right here you have some wood steps pretty common pop quiz on this mobile home what type of siding does it have and bonus what type of material is the skirting as well it's the same material, and if you guessed the plywood panels, then you are absolutely correct. Let's actually crouch down so you can see the front and the back. This actually is pressed plywood together that makes up these T111 panels. Very durable product, lasts and lasts for years. Same question with this brown mobile home. Uh, from afar, what type of material is it? And it looks like wood. If you get closer, it looks like wood but it is definitely cement. The fiber cement material is made from silica, cement, and wood fibers. Very strong, very durable. Something I like about this mobile home is that the fiber cement is actually brought all the way down to the bottom, making it look more like a traditional home. Intermission time. Let's take a look at park model mobile homes. The term park model, as a loose term, it's made for a small mobile home uh, that's made to be placed inside of a mobile home park. It can fit inside almost an RV spot. And as you can tell, this one looks like a little tiny log cabin. On older mobile homes from the 1960s through the 1990s, you'll absolutely see aluminum siding. One way you can identify this aluminum siding is because it's metal and it's corrugated uh, metal that you're seeing. And the panels run vertical. They run up and down three feet wide by eight feet high, which is the entire height of the mobile home. If you buy these brand new, if you find them in a mobile home specialty shop or Home Depot, they'll cost you roughly $70 per panel. You might be able to go to a, another mobile home park or find a condemned mobile home mm -hmm. and pick up the panels from that uh, other mobile home to put them on yours to remove and replace. You can also add vinyl siding to a mobile home, uh, which is going to run, depending on where you get the material, uh, under $2,000. This mobile home needs to be pressure washed, needs to be painted, uh, and it'll look very nice. Even this mobile home as well, the skirting looks very nice, but the mobile home could definitely use a painting, and it would look very nice. Let's go to the back of this mobile home, and you'll see just how terrible uh, the, the eyesore. There's no curb appeal, and in fact, all of these panels look like they have severe hail damage as well as they are warped, they're letting water into the mobile homes. This is the type of mobile home that would get a big benefit from having it entirely vinyl sided. On this mobile home, you can see that there's aluminum panels and they run vertical and it looks actually like a wood. It's very beautiful. What I want to show you here is the stone skirting. This is gorgeous. Now you can choose to have brick on your mobile home. You can choose to have stone. You can also have a front stone facade, which looks gorgeous. This is actually the office of the mobile home dealership that I was at. And if you ever move a mobile home, you're going to have to be uh, concerned with the weight that this stone puts on the mobile home. It might have to be taken off and then put back at its new location. This looks like a different material, but it's not. It does have these little pieces of trim installed, going, uh, giving it a different texture, but that is all just the same plywood T111 material, pressed wood, uh, and it looks really good. Two textures, two colors, it's got those pillars right there. Good size home.